Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll cover a great method for building a hot tub base using crushed concrete. It may be the best method for you. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Now, let's get started. First, I will point out other common hot tub base methods that I looked into, and highlight why a crushed concrete base may be a great choice. First is a wooden platform. A hot tub full of water can easily weigh 3,000 pounds, and building a structurally appropriate platform can get costly quickly. Wood will also degrade over time compared to other materials. Purchased plastic platforms are also available. This idea seemed simple and was quite appealing. However, these require a solid flat surface below, so I would need to at least move some earth around to provide a level flat surface, and I would not want to just lay it on the dirt. Third is a concrete pad. Structurally, this was the preferred option among these three. However, a downfall was the need to mix such a large volume of cement. I typically use a wheelbarrow for small projects. Something this size would require dozens of wheelbarrow mixes, or renting or buying a larger mixer, or even a cement truck to mix it and transport it in a wheelbarrow. And cement mix is time sensitive. So this process was becoming quickly undesirable. In addition, prep work involving sand and or rock is required below the concrete. This prep work is pretty much equivalent to building a complete crushed concrete base. This brings us to the crushed concrete method. Some benefits are that it is structurally sufficient with absolutely no worries. For example, crushed concrete is typically used as a base material under roads. It offers drainage, so the spills around the hot tub or rain will drain through and will not pool on the surface and cause issues. It is not time sensitive to work with like concrete mix. It is easy to level and re-level in the future if needed. Also, it is typically reclaimed from leftover concrete so it is environmentally beneficial since new material is not being produced to make it. And a note on rock selection. The jagged edges of crushed concrete interlock and create a rigid stable structure. Pea gravel may be tempting, but it is not recommended. Pea stones, being small, round, and smooth, can easily slosh around. This will result in the hot tub shifting or sinking and not remaining level. Now let's get into building it. I built a crushed concrete base and enjoyed it for several years with no issues. Since several friends have recently asked me about how I built it, I really wanted to make this video to help you out. I did not film the build several years ago, and I could only find three pictures. So I will be building a smaller version just to be able to go through the steps. I'll be using this little refrigerator that only worked for a couple of months. Let's remove the door and make it a hot tub. Now it's a hot tub. Next, pick a location for the hot tub. Now mark out your hot tub base. Make sure it extends at least roughly one foot beyond the hot tub all the way around. A tip for planning ahead is to size it for pavers. Crushed concrete is not fun to walk on barefoot. So stake out the perimeter, leaving extra room around the perimeter of the hot tub, and if desired, Size it appropriately to fit some pavers that look nice. Now dig it out six inches deep for six inches of crushed concrete. Make sure the ground is compacted. Then build a border. You can use two by eights. I used landscaping timbers because I like the finished look. Then install your retaining border. I laid down a sheet of landscaping fabric as a barrier between the ground and the crushed concrete, which is not technically required, but I recommend it. Then fill it in with six inches of crushed concrete. I had a pile delivered to my driveway by a local landscaping company, then used a wheelbarrow to transport it to the hot tub. With the pit full, level it out. I went around with a 2x4 and a level on top. Perfect. Next, place your hot tub on the new pad. Lay down your pavers if you have them, all the way around. Then, fill it up with water and enjoy. So, that pretty much covers it. The process is straightforward. I apologize for not showing a full-scale build, but I have no need for it, and I thought the information was valuable enough to mock it up. 
I hope you found this helpful and can extract some useful information. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Drop any comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Another advantage is that it's not permanent. It's just rocks. If you don't like it, take them out and fill it up with dirt. Oh yes.